Hi everyone, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel for another Happy Mail haul. For today, I think I'm going to tackle this stack of Happy Mail that I have right here. Most of this is from December. And then I have another stack here over to the side that is from more like January, February. But I think for the sake of like filming and making sure I have enough time, I'm just gonna focus on the December portion for today's video. And then we'll do another one coming up very soon for the rest of it. The one thing that I wanted to get opinions on is I have the Murdoch Talks 12 Days of Stickers. So this was the advent calendar from December of 2022. I have opened it up. I have looked at it on my own, but actually it's been a few weeks since I've looked at it. But if you guys are interested in hearing my opinions and having like a dedicated separate video on this, let me know and I'm happy to do that. I've done that every year. So I'm happy to revisit it if you guys are interested, or I can also include it in my January, February happy mail haul. So just let me know what your thoughts are on 12 days of stickers. And if you want to see it separate or just as part of like a general haul. So I'll put that off to the side, but let me know in the comments down below. But without further ado, let's get into this stack of mail for now. So starting off with what I think is the oldest happy mail in my pile here, but this is station stickers. So starting off, we do have a few little freebies here. So this first one is just a sample of various scripts. So we have things like Hello December, Boxing Day. Um, then we have like Unnecessary Meeting, which I can 100% relate to, but I really like the mix of this like blockier font with the more scripty lettering. So that's really cute and very functional. And then also as part of the kit that I purchased, it came with these date dots, which is so perfect. And I really like the size of these date dots and they do match the kit that I picked up um, being gold font so, or sorry, gold foil. So love that. So the other thing that came with it was this freebie here of a weekly kit, more of like a functional style kit. Uh, you do have some bottom washi, your weekend banner, lots of different like boxes and flags to pull in, and then a few scripts as well up here in the corner. So, you know, definitely very functional and useful. And onto the kit that I purchased. So her kits don't actually have names associated with them. It's just like a number. So this is kit 147 and I really, really love her photo kits. And this one is just like stunningly beautiful with this like hint of stars um, foiled throughout. I just think it adds like a really nice twinkle. And this is on her premium matte paper, which is so beautiful and buttery and it makes the colors just like really stand out in a very vibrant way. So I love this and she has reformatted her um, kits. So you have like tons of stuff in here. So starting off with the first page, you have your nine full boxes and then three labels down there at the bottom. And this full page is foiled. So even on the labels, you have that. Then the next page we have our date covers and various sizes of bottom washi. So you have this like really nice thin strip and then you have two that are the 15 millimeter and those are all foiled so it's beautiful. This page, you can really see how vibrant those colors are. Like this like really deep maroon, the orange and the green, it's so pretty. You do have like various shapes and sizes, some squares, some rectangles, and then some little things down here at the bottom. And majority of them are foiled, but it's just like the right amount of foiling. It's not too overbearing, just a nice light touch. Then the next page here, you have all of your headers, your weekly sidebar items, your habit trackers, and then lots of different options for flags or layering shapes and things like that. 
And then the final page, so this is the only sheet that is not foiled as part of the kit, but you do have some like functional headers, some check boxes, some more like layering options and flags, little things, and then all of these icons down at the bottom. So that is the full kit format. You can purchase like individual sheets and you can kind of customize what you want your kit to be, but I always like to go with the full kit and just get everything included. So that that is my order from Station Stickers, and I do have a discount code for her shop. Um, it will be listed in the description box below, along with any of my other coupon codes or referral links. Next up, I have the, I believe this was January monthly kit from Mary Me Bell. So this is called Frosty and it is just so incredibly cute. I am a huge fan of Mary Me Bell and I have been for such a long time. You can use my code Laura15 to save. So right now um, she is on maternity leave, but she is continuing to do like a monthly kit release. And sometimes she brings the overstock from those kits to her shop um, but mainly it is just like the one kit that she releases every single month so this one I believe it was January or December but I think it was January um, and I really really love how pretty this kit is when you do make a purchase you can choose the color of the hair and skin tone that you want for your fashion girls but when I saw this I asked her if I could just get like a mix of all of the different fashion girls because I just thought they were so pretty and I couldn't decide on a hair color or skin tone I just wanted them all so I think moving forward I won't be so lucky and that you do have to kind of choose but because this one had so many different fashion options we were able to get a mix in here which I just think is stunning so love all of these full boxes and again Miri's paper is amazing so buttery soft and what I really love about it is it is quite repositionable so I always have a really good time planning with her kits because I can adjust a box here or there and it, you know, never rips up the paper or anything like that. So here we have our full boxes. Then this page is so pretty. I love the like light dusting of foil that we have on the bottom washi. And then you have this gorgeous double box scene here. So pretty. I would love to have a bedroom that looked like that and just like overlooked the mountains. So pretty. Then again, we have another foiled page here with your date covers, headers, and then down here you have various um, like foiled washi strips and then layering shapes. This next page is not foiled, but you have lots of half boxes, quarter boxes, little things, labels, and then I love these boxes down here. And then again, you have a very similar page, but this one is foiled. But again, you get lots of different shapes to pull in and very beautiful. And then the final page, you have your tall box, lots of different like deco from the kit, some scripts, and you also get your date numbers included. And then finally, we have this nice, huge double box scene, which is just so cute with the little like reindeers, um, coming in over the fence that's just like so adorable i love the face on this reindeer and then finally miri did throw in an extra foiled freebie which i think matches the kit so perfectly with those extra little uh snowflake bits and the um, garlands will look really cute layered over some of the boxes but maybe even some of the full boxes since they aren't foiled you can just like add a little bit of extra sparkle to those so that is everything from miri me bell don't forget you can use code laura15 to save and then i do also have a referral referral link. Uh, if you've never shopped with Mary before, you can use that in case that saves you a little bit more money, uh, but definitely check that out. Next up, I have quite the pile here from Scribble Prince Co. And I will just say that I am continuing on with the affiliate team for SPC. So you can use code Laura10 to save. So let's go through here. I am going to be showing the January mystery kit. So if you haven't seen that before, or if you don't want to be spoiled, I will put timestamps below so that you can skip forward if you're not interested in seeing that. 
So first up, we'll go through some of the freebies here. We got this little stocking here that says Naughty on it. I really loved this artwork. I didn't pick up the kit with it, but I do think it is quite cute. So this looks like it is a sticker, so on clear. So that's really fun. I might like put that on my laptop or something. And then a few more freebies. We have some hollow foiled labels. We have the uh, holiday movie sampler. So it looks like these are all like Christmas movies. We have the Santa Claus, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Home Alone, etc. in the really pretty hollow foil. And then we have A's freebie. So in the red, and then we have the $75 freebie. I really love these doodle freebies. I've been very into the doodles lately, and this is a really, really pretty pink color. I think that will go with a lot of different kits. And then a few more freebies here. We've got some quote overlays, and then a few of these um, Once More With Love munchkins. So we have the Andrea munchkins, the Jess Munchkins, we have Kirsten's Munchkins, and then the Angel Munchkins from, what was it, the six year anniversary? I can't remember. Um, and then we also have a journaling card with that same kind of spooky Christmas art, um, really cute. All right, so as I mentioned, I have been very into the doodles that SPC has been releasing, and every week they release a different colorway of all the various doodles in their shop, and I don't pick them up every week. I think this is actually the first week that I picked up the full set of them. I just thought that this like peachy pink color was really, really pretty, and I think will go with lots of different kits. So that's why I picked it up, but I don't do it every single week because it can definitely add up. I just mostly want to get the colors that can lend itself to lots of different kits so that I can get the most use out of them. But there are 12 sheets. You can buy them as a bundle or you can buy individual ones. I just think it's a better deal to buy all 12 together. There might even be more sheets now. Anyway, when I bought this one, there was 12 sheets. So we have 12, 11, 10 you can see like there's a really good variety of icons included so that's sheet nine we have eight seven oh i love this little like party dress here and the heels curling iron so cute they all kind of have like a little bit of a theme that goes along with it so this is six so you've got like your social media stuff some like baking things then we've got five that has like various like food items and sports Four, we've got like different food items, so like cake and cupcakes and soda, some like traveling things, lots of different like streaming services. And then sheet three looks to be like coffee, food, relaxing, like self care, cleaning, number two. And then finally one which has more of your like Disney items included on it. So I really like that. I love the peachy tone of this. I don't think it's like showing up perfectly, but it is a really gorgeous color. And then also while I was there, I figured I would pick up the Valentine's Day doodles as well. So I thought this one was really cute. Um, definitely very like sexy doodles to include for Valentine's Day. And then I also got the winter doodles, which I think are really adorable. I love the little like hot cocoa, the like heart snowball, very cute. And then this is also like winter, like cozy doodles, which I thought would be great to pull in and a very like neutral color palette so you can definitely pull it in with a lot of different kits and then while I was there I figured I would pick up the Etsy hearts and then the YouTube hearts we got the little like passport and tickets because I'm doing a lot of traveling and then I also decided to pick up the summer sampler and then the little bikinis as well so that's all of the doodles that I pick up. And I generally also pick up the doodles that go along with the kits. You can see I've put them in here as well. So going over the first kit that I picked up, this is going to be 
saved for this year because I didn't end up planning with it last year, but it is so pretty. This is cozy winter and the real draw for me with this was really the color palette. I really loved how like soft and neutral it was and obviously I love the fashion girls that are included in here as well, but just like the cozy vibes of the artwork mixed with that like beautiful neutral palette I just thought was amazing. So we have our full boxes, then we have our deco and like sidebar stuff, our headers, and then two extra full boxes. I do buy the ultimate kit format. I just find like that works best for me because I like to have lots of options. You can see here we have various like boxes. I love these like tiny little rounded boxes too. And then we have all of our labels like patterned little things, etc. And then all of the just like solid uh, boxes, the patterned ones, and then our bottom washi date covers and an extra full box. And then the freebie that came with this kit is just like too cute with this girl in her sweater. And then as I mentioned, I'm picking up the doodles that go along with the kits too, just so that I have them in my collection. So that is the cozy winter kit. And I just think it is so, so cute. Next up is the January mystery kit. So I'm going to share that with you now. And it is a really stunning like strawberry birthday kit. And I just think this is so unique and different and just like so vibrant and fun. I really, really love this. The both of the fashion options are just super cute. I love the like garden vibe that we have going on here. So very, very pretty. Um, we'll definitely be using this. I don't know if I'll use it for my birthday. Um, it kind of has like a little bit of like a juvenile birthday feel to it, but also it has like very nice like elevated elements too. So I don't know, I'll have to find the right time to use it. Given that my birthday is in March, I just don't associate like this stuff with my birthday, but we'll figure it out. I just think overall it is gorgeous. And I look forward to the January mystery kit every single year. Just like, I love to see how uh, the team innovates with like new themes, but still having that like birthday core theme, which I think is really exciting. So we also get included in the mystery kit format. You have your extra doodles, you have an extra color to pull in, and then your ombre heart checklist. And then look at, you have all of these fashion options to pull in. I really like the tall box. I think that outfit is super cute. Um, but then you have lots of different uh, skin tones and hair colors to pull as well. So very cute. And then to top it all off, we did get a full foil bundle with which this is so cute. It is with collaboration with Caress Press and it just matches this kit so per perfectly with that strawberry theme. So you do have your full box overlays. So you have a full sheet of those. Really cute. I love the like gingham uh, patterned ones. Then you have some extra ones and then these are all header overlays. Then you also have two sets of these underlays in this really pretty gingham pattern. So fun. I feel like that's gonna be a lot. Um, I might save those. I just feel like the artwork itself is quite bold. Uh, maybe not. I don't know, that'll be an experiment for me. I don't know my comfort level, but sometimes you gotta step out of that. And then we also have our scripts and doodle icons here at the side. I think all of these scripts have like changed sizes and things. I really like this new format for the scripts. Same thing with the doodles. They feel a little bit smaller and more manageable. So I really do like those. And then we have our whole reinforcements. I love that this foil bundle includes those. You have some various like foiled icons or like doodle bits, your date covers, some like fancy headers and your bottom washi overlay. So really, really good foil bundle. And then also to go along with that, you have some quote overlay boxes, which is awesome and continues on with that birthday theme. And then you also have the label sampler here. This is on white 
white paper so you can write on it and that's great it is a sparkly red i hope that that is showing through but really special and i think it's just gonna look so great with this kit it's really going to give it something like extra special to make it pop I mean, the artwork on its own can definitely pop, but I think the red foil just like really makes it super fun. And I loved that red foil so much that I decided to pick up a sparkly red foil bundle from Scroll Prince Co as well. I just thought like I might want to have options if I felt like that caress press bundle was just a little bit too much. Sometimes I wanna have like a more subdued option. So I picked up the SPC version as well and we have the full box overlays and then the header overlays. This can also be used for like Christmas or like um, I don't know, 4th of July, I would use it for Canada Day, for example, or Valentine's Day. Like there's lots of opportunities to pull in sparkly red. So I wasn't concerned if I don't use it for that kit specifically. So we get two pages of the headers and the full box overlays, two pages of the just confetti uh, bougie boxes, and then more scripts and icons, and then the bottom washi and date numbers. So I just wanted to have that extra foil bundle on hand. And if I don't use it for this kit, I can definitely use it some other time. So that is it from Scribble Prince Co. As I mentioned, you can use code Laura10 to save. All right, so it's a different day and I'm coming back to wrap up this video. The next shop that I have here is White Deer Stationery. I can't even remember what is in this order, but I'm always excited for a White Deer Stationery order. First up, we have our freebie and I always destroy this cute little envelope in the process but we have adorable little doodles here, just like always. I think I have most of these. I don't have these, these are really cute. Uh, and I love all of these shopping bags. So if those are in her shop, I definitely need to pick those up. But I always love her freebies. They're obviously very useful and I love the neutral color palette. I just feel like it goes with so many spreads. All right, so this is a hefty little stack, so let's get right into it. So the first sheet here is another freebie. I guess this is for um, spending over $75 Canadian. So again, really useful and love all of these doodles. The first sheet that I picked up were these strollers and no, I'm not pregnant. I am not planning on having any babies anytime soon, but I do have a lot of friends who are, you know, in that phase of their life. I go and visit them. So I thought having little strollers or little like baby items for baby showers, etc., would be a really good sticker to have. I picked up these calendars. I do have these already, just restocking on them. I love to mark appointments or big meetings, things like that with them. We got the birthday cards, just another way to mark happy birthday versus always doing like a cake or a cupcake. Got the donuts. I thought these would be perfect to mark like a little cheat day. Not that like, you know, cheat days are a thing, but I also just really love donuts. So I get them pretty frequently. We also got the party balloons. This is a restock for me. I've had those multiple times. And then the clipboard and the fountain pen. I've seen people use this pen to mark like meetings and things. And I think that's like really smart. Or I think sometimes like using it with the clipboard is kind of cute. I got the heart box of chocolates just for any like date nights or anniversaries, things like that. I guess even Valentine's Day. Got the sticker sheets to mark hauls and things. Shampoo and conditioner. Got the YouTube sticker orders. Again, just to mark like hauls or happy mail, things like that. The stove top cooking. The mini dumbbells, which I think I did have these before. Um, I don't know, now I'm questioning it. Maybe I had the kettlebells and not the dumbbells, but these are really cute. The washer and dryer, 
the coffee table books. I've been like reading like crazy, so I thought it'd be wonderful to have more ways of marking reading. Oh, I did get the notepad. Okay, see, that's why when I saw this freebie, I was really hoping that I got the notepad and that's wonderful to have those. I think that's perfect for meetings. I got the sunglasses, the rubber duck, the hockey net, which I'm so glad that she has these in shop. I think this is such a cute way to mark a hockey game. I always have issues, like she has a hockey stick, but there's just something about that sticker. Like it's just very thin and I don't know, the the size and like shape of it just like throws me off sometimes. So I'm glad to have the little hockey net. We have skincare, the baby onesie, the sticker box organizer. This is actually how I store my stickers now versus I used to have them in albums, but I've moved to a little box uh, system and I'm liking it so much more. We also have the, oh, this is there. Okay, it felt like that was two sheets. I got the EpiPens and I don't use an EpiPen for anything. I'm not allergic to bees or whatnot, so I don't have an EpiPen, but this does remind me of my injections that I have to take for my arthritis, as well as I am on a medication called Ozempic. So this just like reminded me of that. So I thought if I was ever marking that in my planner, I could use that for picking up prescriptions or like when I do my injections. And then I got the gel manicure. I got the sports samplers. Sometimes like I just thought like if I was going to a baseball game or a soccer match or something like that, it'd be nice to have these on hand. I will definitely use the hockey pucks, but some of the other ones, I think it's nice to just have a little variety of them. We got the snow clouds because of course I'm in Canada and we get lots of snow. Actually, it's been pretty good this year. I shouldn't complain. We got the open ring bound planners and this is in the all pink colorway. The social media sampler. I actually don't even have a Twitter account, so I don't think I'll ever use those, but who knows, maybe one day. Oh, I got the bath bombs. I've been having so many baths this winter. Like I love them so much. And I do use a lot of Lush bath bomb products, but I've also been finding a lot of um, like really cute stores on Etsy that sell like homemade bath products. And I am in love with them. So I thought that was a really fun way to mark that. I got the party blowers. The bananas, I eat a banana pretty much every single day, but I don't know if I'll ever mark it in my planner, maybe grocery shopping or going to the fruit market, but I just thought these were really cute. Got the sausage and eggs breakfast, more um, book stacks, this one with the teacup on top. We have the heart cupcake, and this is in the all pink colorway. Then we got the heart conversation bubbles. I thought this would be really cute for when Mike and I have kind of, you know, deeper conversations or even with a friend or a family member. But, you know, Mike and I sometimes do have to have like those heart to heart conversations. And so I thought this would be nice to mark that. And then so I picked it up in the like traditional colorway, which has like a creamy yellow, a lighter blue, a darker blue, a pink, and then more of like a gray tone. And then I picked it up in the all pink colorway as well. And then I also got the lingerie set. So that is everything that I got from White Deer Stationery. I already feel like she's had multiple new releases that I want to pick up even now, but I just love her, uh, her doodles so much and I use them pretty much in every single spread. So I do have a referral link down in the description box below. So check that out if you want to save some money at White Deer Stationery. The last order that I have is from Sadie Stickers, and I don't even want to admit how old this order is. I 
ordered this a while ago and one of my friends, Regina from Miss and Meow, was going out to visit Alicia. So she offered to pick up my order so that I didn't have to pay for shipping. And then I didn't get to see Regina for months and months. So this order I think is like from back in the fall. It, it's gotta be like at least October. So kind of funny how long this has been sitting there, but you know, we've got it now and I'm happy to use it for 2023. So first up we have Saskia's freebie, which is very fall themed, which was appropriate at the time. Uh, but we have little like pumpkins and leaves, uh, dividers, very, very cute. And it is in rose gold. Then I have a few of the $2 Tuesday items and it looks like this is all like berries and branches which is really cute for any like winter or fall spreads. So first up I have the berry half divider one and this is in silver. It's very dainty and very cute and I got all of this on the transparent matte paper. So we have that and I also picked it up in gold. I just tend to always lean towards silver and gold for the winter. So that's why I only got it in those two colors. And then we also have the pine branch, which is very, very cute and very dainty. Like I can't believe you can see like all of the individual little needles on the pine branch. So we got that in gold and in silver. Her gold is much more hot gold than I remembered. I thought it was more towards like a lighter gold, but that's okay. It's still really pretty. Then we have the pine mini deco and I just like, I can't ever get over how dainty and cute these are. Um, but you have just like various uh, pieces here to pull into a spread. So we have that in the gold and the silver. And then we have the pine cluster deco. I love using this to just like fill in a spread. You have that in silver as well. Then we have the holly bundles, of course, great for winter or the holidays, both foils. Then we have berry divider one, which I love how cute this is. The little like berry pieces just make it feel like extra wintry. Then we have it in gold as well. And then I got the winter garland one. And then in silver as well, the berry garland one, the pine garland. It's funny, like I barely use any of these like garlands in my spread, but I just couldn't resist them. And I do have plans to pull things like this in more in the future, but I just wanted to build up my collection a little bit. So I'm excited to have those. And then I did pick up a few different of these like box sheets. So this is on the premium matte like white paper. So we have the winter berry wreath. I'm assuming we have it in gold as well. Yeah, we have it in both silver and gold. And this looks a lot more like gold to me. That's really interesting. I wonder if I picked it up in different colors or maybe it just like shows up differently on different kinds of paper. I don't know. But anyway, that's kind of like more what I was expecting her gold to be like. Um, so that's interesting. And then we have the pine wreath, which how beautiful is that in both the gold and the silver. That just looks so pretty and wintry. It almost looks like ice. Oh, I love that so much. So those are the $2 Tuesday like mini sheets. And then I also picked up some of the like long washi stri uh, strips as well. So this is the winter two. So many cute details, lots of different like branches and leaves in there, very pretty. So that's in the gold and then this is in the silver. Then I got the berry one. I just think this will look great along the top as like deco or even along the bottom with the washi. So that one's cute. And then I also got the pine one as well. So we have that in gold and in silver. All right, so that's all of the $2 Tuesday sheets. And then while I was there, I couldn't resist getting at least one, one kit. 
And this one I thought was really, really pretty. And I wish that I had it in time for my um, anniversary trip to Vancouver because this really gives me Vancouver vibes and just like that fall time of year. So this is called, oh no, I'm not going to be able to pronounce that. Werefisteria? <laughs> I have no idea if that's how you say that, um, but it says to wander longingly through the forest in search of mystery, which is so pretty. Oh, I love this. It's foiled in rose gold, and I just love all of the foiled elements. I haven't used a Sadie stickers kit in so long, but I really, really love her format, and I just love her boxes. Everything is so stunningly beautiful. So these are the full boxes. You can see like just really rich, deep colors. The foiling is such a great complement to it. I love the addition of like various animals in here too. Like you've got some birds here, um, an owl. You've got like a deer up here. Uh, I just really, really cute. This little foiled squirrel is so cute. So love those full boxes. And then along here at the bottom, you do have a few swatch boxes. Then you have like your overall boxes page with various like shapes and sizes. Some of them are foiled, some of them aren't. So you have lots of options there. The next page is more of your functional items with various like headers. And then I love these little scallop headers here. You have your weekly sidebar boxes, um, a few of these fancy boxes. I love the ones with the extra florals. You have some like torn pages and some bow flags. And then the last page here is your bottom washi, which is foiled as well. And then your date covers, and then a few little deco bits along the side too. And then to go along with this, I did decide to pick up one sheet of the floral deco. I don't traditionally pull in a lot of floral deco, but I thought, you know, it'd be nice to try something different and pull those in. And I just really love the floral deco of this kit. I think the colors are so pretty. So really, really liked that. So that is everything from Sadie Stickers. That is everything for my haul today. I will be back very soon for part two of this haul. And of course, don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this Murdoch Talks um, 12 days of stickers. Should I open it in one haul or should I have it as like a completely separate video? Let me know what you think. I'm happy to accommodate either way. I'm not really picky about it. So just let me know and and I will do that next time. So I hope you guys are all doing well and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye.